know, I'm down here in the Keys, and I heard a guy named Ralph has a 37 Chrysler Royale, and I could use that car. Chrysler Royal, they're good. They sell well. They're well-made cars. There's not that many of them around. You got a nice original one, you've got some. This one's had the interior done, the body done. It's had a lot of work done, but it's all done correctly and nice. I'm selling today to Ted a 1937 Chrysler Royal. I cruise a lot. Uh, almost on a daily basis. I got it out of a barn in Arkansas. The gentleman took very good care of it there, and uh, I fell in love with it, had to have it. Ted and I are from the same neck of the woods, so I'm as tough as Ted. I'm asking a fair price to fund my, my daughter's college tuition. It'll be a big help, so that's my purpose of selling it. You must be Ralph. Mr. V, how you doing? What's happening? I, I figured with a 37 Chrysler, you'd be the only guy here. It's a very pretty she, car. She's a great car. She's in solid shape. Yeah. All original, numbers matching, motors in excellent shape. Nicer than I thought. No rust underneath. It's a solid car. And it runs and drives it the right way. It runs very well. It's a daily driver. Um, six volt. Six volt. It's first thing I'd change. Yeah. You um, agree? Well, yeah, it's personal preference if you want to change it. I like all original stuff myself. I like cars to start. So yeah. tell me, why are you selling the car? I'm selling it because. Um, I want to fund a portion of my daughter's college tuition with this vehicle. It's a pretty car. It's a great car. So where are we at financially on this car? It's well worth 14. That's what I'm looking to get. It's solid, no rust. She starts faithfully. The interior doesn't leak. It's just, it's a great running it's, car. It's pretty inside, too. You could take the, your hands off the steering wheel and it, it stays straight, but I'm asking 14. 14's a little solid. more than I can pay, because I'm reselling the car. Right. I'm not saying it's not worth that. Right. But I can't pay quite that much. It's going well. It's a little tough, but I think uh, we'll come to a nice agreement. 14, I feel, is a very fair price for the vehicle. It's well worth it. I'm not selling a, a piece of garbage. It's a solid vehicle. No rust, no bondo, nothing. It's never been touched. It's a great car. It'll be fun. It'll be a challenge. But, uh, you know, we're both gentlemen. I got a good reason to sell it. He's really hungry to buy it. So I think it'll go well. My daughter loves this car, but for her, the, the schooling is important, and to me as well, because she wants to do it, uh, I'll sell this car. You know, he hit me at $14,000, which is retail. We're so close to making a deal right now, I just gotta see where the chips fall. If he's not reasonable and he's not gonna move from his price, can't buy the car. I wanted to go to a, a prestigious college, but they didn't want me. So I went in the car business. I got no regrets. So exactly what do you want me to do here? Well, I want you to buy the car. I wanna buy the car, I came a long way. Well worth my asking price. Yeah, you're asking 14 and I think it might bring that, but I'm in the car business and I'm thinking I should pay around 10 for it to make money. Yeah, that's a little low. I gotta go a little bit higher than that. What can you do? I can't Bottom really, line, I what can't can you really do? criticize the car very no, much. No, it's a great car. I, I really like being 10, I might be 11, but it is for your daughter. I'll pay you 12 grand for the car, I'm done. I'm done, 12 grand. 12 cash? Yeah. We got a deal. Okay, We that's got fair. a deal. This is my daughter, Bella. Are you gonna sell the car? Yeah, but your, your college tuition is more important. This gentleman just bought it. Hi, Bella, how are you? Shake his hand for funding a portion of your college. Okay. <laughs> you guys wanna come with me? I gotta give you some money. Sure, Let's do sounds this. like a great plan. It's a fair price, I'm happy with it. That'll take a big chunk away from us for the funding. I mean, she'll miss the car, but with the knowledge she's gonna be getting, she'll be making a lot of money to afford five of these cars. Ted gave us a great deal. I mean, we both met in the middle. He's happy, I'm happy. He's got a great buy. What do you think, Bell? It's a good deal. It's a good deal? You gonna miss the car? I'm the proud owner of a 37 Chrysler Royal. I love the car. I'm happy with the price. I think it's just a great car. And I think it'll sell fast. Good inventory, good quality build. Nice car. You know, the Elante is running well. I'll just send this home with the truck. I don't need to drive this home. I'm doing real well down here in the Keys. I'm having a beautiful day. The weather's great. I mean, it's a different world down here. It's so beautiful. The overseas highway is so much fun. There's so much to see between here and Key West. It's like 113 miles of fun. You know, there's all kinds of cool stuff to see and buy, and, and the food is great along here. You know, the deal with Jimmy went really well. You know, Jimmy Johnson is a knowledgeable guy. He knows old cars, he's really fair. And when he bought the uh, tea bucket from me, I told him, you know, you'll have it less than a year. So here it is like 90 days later and I'm trading it back in. I gave him a real good deal on the 39 Ford truck, but it's fair. And he'll keep the truck probably a year or less and then trade it back again. Really a pleasure to deal with the man. I look forward to going fishing with him. It's gonna be so cool. And the Elante made it down like I said it was. Marcus with all his wisecracks about the Elante. I'm here, I'm fine, now I'm gonna go home. What's bad? But he kept naysaying and being critical and negative. It's irritating. If I made it down, now I'm gonna make it home. No big deal.